morning everyone okay um saturday morning decided to go on an adventure so we just fed the cats and we're going to head out to um lake and buzzard we've never been to lake and buzzard before don't know anything about lake and buzzard but it's a little town about 20 minutes away from milton Keynes. so hopefully you will join us on our adventure in lake and buzzard see you there <laughs> Hello everybody, have I come for a day at the seaside? No, I haven't come for a day at the seaside. I'm in a car park in uh, Leighton Buzzard, which is a town that took us about, I don't know, 20 minutes drive from Milton Keynes. Um, but for some reason there's a sign there that says beach, but it seems what it actually is, is there's um, a playground and um, a paddling pool. Ooh, look at all those juicy pears. It's autumnal. Um, yeah, there's a big park and it's got a paddling pool and then a small area with a sand pit. So I think selling it as a beach is slightly overselling it. Anyway, at the moment, I'm waiting for him to pay for parking. So I'm in a very gorgeous and lovely car park with some kind of nothing buildings and nothing oh there's some fairy lights over there that looks interesting anyway we are having a day out in Leighton Buzzard I have no idea what to expect oh there he is he's paid for parking there's a noisy truck um oh that's a very interesting tree right well that's all the excitement of the car park we're going to go off now and explore Leighton Buzzard right so as I said we've arrived in Leighton Buzzard which I know nothing about but we thought we'd come and have an explore but somebody has researched the name of Leighton Buzzard and wishes to give you a story that I hope won't go on for too long about the name Leighton Buzzard so take it away okay so obviously I know Leighton Buzzard as the Leighton Buzzard spelled L-E-Y-T-O-N he did Saturday night beneath plastic palm trees Shut up or I'll punch you in the face. You could that's, try. Uh, yeah, I could. You anyway, knock the camera out of my see. hand. If you knock the camera out of my hand, then there's yeah. no point telling right. the story. Uh, look, I'm trying to Get tell on a with story. it. Stop, Why is it called Leighton story. Buzzard? Right, okay. It, um, in 571, it was called Leighton. And Leighton is Old English for farm in a clearing in the woods. Oh. In the 12th century, kind of the king of lincoln it became part of his diocese and he added the word buzzard which is uh, an abbreviation of bow dessert or bow desert right yeah desert <laughs> i knew you'd get that wrong and say dessert <laughs> right bow desert bow Cut. desert means a beautiful place made out of a desert out of somewhere where there's nothing Oh. And that is why it's called Leighton Buzzard. So I Buzzard, Buzzard has got absolutely nothing to do with a large bird then? Nothing to all the Leighton Buzzards, Saturday night beneath, beneath the, the plastic, plastic palm, palm trees. trees. Okay, well right. thank you for that. Let's go explore Leighton Buzzard. Wow, check out the gargoyles on this bank. Look at these gargoyles. <laughs> And little statues and things. I don't know what that is. Maybe a griffin or something? I'm not sure. I don't know. But they're pretty damn cool. Now, this is just a bank. The buildings here are something else. I'm loving the buildings. And it's like a little... I don't know what that's about, but it's obviously something important. I should have done my research, really, shouldn't I? Um, but yeah, just a really, really interesting town, this really interesting and there's a market so i better go and investigate the market i'll be back Check this out. It's like a little alleyway just off the high street. And this is like a little coffee shop place with this really pretty little garden. Look at this. How cool is this? I'm a bit kind of gobsmacked by what I'm seeing here. I'm sort of in love with Leighton Buzzards. Look at this, this leads out onto the high street. How cool is this? Look, all the stuff painted on the walls. Isn't this incredible? I just thought this was like a town with a shopping centre. I had absolutely no idea. What an amazing place. 
Okay, I'll be back with more. Um, just come down an interesting little alleyway again off the high street and found this shop here. What was it? Raven and Broomstick. Why are you tapping me on the arm? Because there's a big Doberman staring at you. Is there? Where? Yeah. Can anyone see the Doberman? I can't see it on the camera. Um, anyway, there's this cute little place with like cauldrons and stuff and they sell all kinds of cool vintage oddities and occult paraphernalia and yes. all sorts. Oh, there's the Doberman. Oh, he's gorgeous. Hello, precious. Do you remember the omen? <laughs> that reminds me of the omen. Anyway, so over here, there's more raven and broomstick. And as I showed you before, there's a sign here that tells you about um, somebody called Jane Massey, um, Catherine, Hank, Catherine Hanks, who were pronounced witches and were dragged off to um, be anyway, terror staging a local lynching because the river was not deep enough. They dragged the two screaming women to Luton where they intended to float them in the river. One or two local gentlemen intervened and persuaded the angry mob to disperse and go on their way. So these two supposed witches, who um, shouldn't have been tried because the laws had been repealed 16 years previously, were saved. And this shop looks incredible. So I'm going to go in there and meet the Doberman. God, I am blown away with Leighton Buzzard. Sorry to go on, but I really am. Okay, so we are in the Raven and Brimstick and this gorgeous chap here is Mr. Witcher. Isn't he adorable? Mr. Witcher, are you on YouTube? Oh, look, oh, look. Can we go and show the beautiful things in your shop, please, Mr. Witcher? So again, we are in Leighton Buzzard. We are just off the main street and this shop is absolutely crammed with the most amazing amazing collection of things mr witcher is right behind me he's following me around he is security he's definitely security look at these up here i mean just watched game of thrones these are very reminiscent oh my word i could end up spending my life savings in this shop oh look where we've come to creepy corner gotta love creepy corner amazing <gasps> Good grief. Oh, there's Freddy over there in the corner. Freddy had to be in Creepy Corner, didn't he? Down here. Down here. Look at this beautiful tray down here. Ah, Hogwarts. That is the most amazing. Hello, Mr. Witcher. Are you back? Most amazing collection of crystals. The smell of the incense in here is just heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. Oh my word, what a shop. Absolutely incredible. Got book section over here as well. See, psychic readings, tarot readings, everything you so could possibly the, need. The owner has just told me that they're going to open the, a workshop at the back, which is going to be a museum yep. of... Um, curios and artifacts and mysterious things so and when, when's that, that opening do you have a date uh, for it or we were hoping october but we need to get some cabinets okay okay and you said you're on facebook and insta facebook instagram and tiktok and what's your tag on facebook hashtag raven broomstick i'm, I'm doing work. this because he doesn't particularly want to be on camera so <laughs> she is there so say again Fa facebook tag is Hashtag Raven and Broomstick. All one word. Okay. Insta? Raven and Broomstick. Raven and Broomstick. And what else you say? TikTok as well? TikTok, Raven and Broomstick. Fabulous. Right, we will get people down here because you guys need to see this place. Oh, wow. Look at the broomstick up there. I missed that. Everywhere I'm turning, there's something else. <laughs> get yourselves over to Leighton Buzzard and get down here because this shop is to die for. Right. I will be back. I think it's safe to say I am falling in love with Late Buzzard, apart from the Screaming Child, of course. Um, this over here is the Vicarage. There's this quaint little lane, which would be tranquil and peaceful if it wasn't for the Screaming Child. Look at these cottages. 
And where there's a vicarage, you know what else there'll be, don't you? Oh yes, there'll be a church. And where there's a church and a vicarage, what else do we expect to find? Oh my God, the screaming child. Ah! Become, become, become. Look at these buildings over here. And check out the post office. This is just an incredible town. The pub over there, look at that. Can I zoom in? Ooh, look at that. Anyway, ooh, I wouldn't mind living in one of them. Anyway, we've got a monolith here, erected to those who fell in the First World War. And if we continue around here, we have found the churchyard. What do we have here? Oh, this is nice. Please respect this holy space. Yeah, no drinking. That's just disrespectful in a churchyard. Bloody hell, look at the cyclamens all coming up. How lush. We've got some beautiful old graves and some amazing trees and a beautiful... Everything's beautiful today. Is that my word for the day? Beautiful church and spire. I'm sure those windows are amazing on the inside. I mean, I'm just going to shut up because what a tranquil spot to be buried in. Ooh, can I see up there? Sorry, I was trying to be quiet, but I'm not good at it. Look at that carved sculpture up there. Sorry, I'm wobbling about. Wow, that's pretty damn cool. Yeah, I'm really trying to be quiet because this is such a calming, restful place, but I can't shut up. You know me. <laughs> anyway, let's have a wander around here. See what we have. Wow, can you imagine these stained glass windows? Wish we could get in to have a look. I think they're closed. Ooh. More graveyard. Beautiful. I'm going to go and see if I can find the oldest grave in the graveyard. I was like, wow. Yeah, it is shut, unfortunately. But boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, that's how, by the way, that's how I was brought up. And um, it's probably part of my name, Spooky Peg. When I was a kid, when I used to go on holiday with my family, my parents, I don't know if they were just cheap, but the thing we always used to do was find... Um, the church of whatever town we were in and we'd spend hours having a competition going around seeing who could find the oldest gravestone see my parents were sensible we didn't get all these expensive trips to uh theme parks and stuff we, we just went around graveyards looking for old graves anyway this place looks incredible i'm thinking the oldest ones will probably be somewhere over there so i'll come back and let you know if i find an old one hey look over there that's a pheasant, right? Hello, Mr. Pheasant. Wow, that's a pheasant in the graveyard. He don't want to talk to me. Hello. Doom, 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 doom. So you'd only understand that if you saw an advert for um, famous grouse whiskey, because that's the music for it, and they have a pheasant walking around. Where's he gone? Guys, you saw a pheasant just now, right? Everybody just saw him, didn't they? Where the hell's he gone? He was right there. Was he a ghost pheasant? That's kind of weird. Can anybody see him? Okay. He seems to have disappeared into a grave somewhere. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Look at this one here. I'm not going to film the inscription on it because I always think that's disrespectful. But there's a few things I know about um, graves and the imagery of them. And this one here, I've noticed it's a child that died five years old. And they always say that if you've got a pillar that's broken off, it's a life cut short. So, um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I just realised I said something really stupid because I was showing you all a pheasant and I sang a song from the famous grouse advert and a pheasant and a grouse are two completely different things so it was either a pheasant or a grouse 
but I couldn't find him again. He literally disappeared into the grave. Anyway, um, Christmas is coming, as you can see. So um, I'll be off and uh, I'll see you all later. But this is an absolutely gorgeous church and graveyard. One day I'll come back and go inside and show it to you. Anyway, off to the high street. Okay, just came up to the high street and found this sculpture here. And I'm just reading about this. Um, and there are a load of bronze discs created by um, an artist and local groups. And it's all about the town. And I've just read down here, the high street was established in 1086 in the Middle Ages, can you believe? And also that church I was just at was the All Saints Church, which is for originally from 1220. Anyway, this is a bit more modern, this bit, high street. But noisy traffic, going to go and get a coffee. Okay, I'm just uh, by the public toilets, as you are, which is lovely. There's free toilets in Leighton Buzzard. I'm looking at this notice board, and I'm feeling a little bit um, miffed at this. Look at this, this here. Don't miss out on seeing their smiles, our digital champions, helping you with um, technology. Look at the age thing, 55 and up. So they're saying that I'm an old git. Mind you, I am somebody who usually films in portrait, so maybe they're right. Yeah, 55 and up, you're over the hill, love. Okay, decided we're not gonna go for a coffee somewhere because we just found this place called the, what is it? The Crooked Pro Bar, which is absolutely amazing. We've got a pool table there. Hope you can hear me over the music, but it's very good music. And um, yeah, they do live music and all sorts in here. And I'm loving this. Bring your own vinyl every Saturday, 12 till six. How cool is that? Crooked Crowbar. So yeah, time to sit down, have a Coke and relax. And uh, Leighton Buzzard, you have blown me away. I will be back.